happy as we've got our bikes. We're all set. Are you joking me? That looks like a willy. Look at those. Oh my god. Well done, us. everybody how you doing i hope you're all doing really well welcome back to another vlog today is saturday the 16th of may 16th of may 16th of may and um the weather's not too great today but we are we're starting our weekend by doing a little bit of a bike ride boris johnson our prime minister has said that the lockdown in the uk is still happening but we're allowed to exercise more than once a day so there's some bikes that you can rent in london and you can um, get them and cycle around London, obviously social distancing completely. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take hand sanitizer out and clean our hands before, after, and we're just gonna have a little bit of exercise around London and then come back. And then this evening, we're gonna be making a curry from scratch. So we're doing a whole vegetarian curry. We're gonna make our own naan breads. We're gonna make our own onion bhajis. I'm so excited. We're just sat on the sofa. I think it's about 10 a.m. We're just having some breakfast. I'm having my classic um, yogurt with the granola we get from Aldi and some berries and some honey. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little slow morning. I've had my coffee in bed, that was lovely. Yeah, Zara made me a coffee. Yes, she <laughs> did. I was like, excuse me, I made your coffee in bed. <laughs> I was gonna be like, I made myself a coffee in bed, but then I think Zara would launch me. <laughs> yeah, we had a little coffee in bed, we just watched some YouTube, which was really lovely. It's been a really lovely, chill weekend, but yeah, it's been nice. It's going to be nice to get on the bike. We haven't done that in the longest time, and um, it's just lovely to just be in and around London, which is really nice. So um, yeah, I'll obviously take you guys along. I do just really want to reinforce that every country's guidelines is completely circumstantial, and if we are allowed to do this in one country, I know the UK's currently um, rate of COVID-19 isn't anything to be a standard by, but um, if I just feel like if we're allowed to exercise safely, and responsibly then you know we should so um yeah still practicing social distancing and still staying away from everyone but that's the plan i hope you're doing well and zara's just made me a lovely little iced coffee just to have while i'm getting ready and I've just had this product arrive. It's from a new skincare brand. I haven't tried it before. It's called AKT Skincare and it's a deodorant balm. So I use a roll on it. I used to use aerosol deodorant, antiperspirant, and I know that's really, really bad for the environment. And I use roll on now and it works perfectly, but this is a deodorant balm. It's um, designed essentially to like mask, obviously to get rid of the smell and completely deodorize any form of sweat. And obviously sweat is natural, but it's it's just all organic and completely vegan, lasts all day. It was basically designed by dancers who've performed in the West End in London and need constant protection. So I'm not naturally quite a sweaty person, I'm quite lucky, but I'm gonna give this a go. Never tried a balm before and I'll let you know how I get on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all dressed and letting my hair naturally dry because I'm going to put a cap on. We're just going to prep some bits and bobs to take to have a little lunch on the bike ride and that's what we're going to have. So I'm just going to boil some water and cook us some fusilli pasta because we're doing like a pasta salad so that'll be really nice. I also baked some cookies yesterday and these are the brownie cookies so I'm going to parcel up two of those and pop them in the rucksack too. And we also have mm, some crisps that I feel like will be really nice and they'll transport pretty well too so I'll pop those in there. Guys, this is why I absolutely love having a plethora of like reusable bottles and Tupperware and stuff because we've got something for every occasion. Okay, so we've just made our little pasta. This is pesto, spinach, tomato, black pepper, a bit of lemon juice, all that good stuff. Um, so we're just going to leave that cool ever so slightly. Got some cutlery, got all the other bits and bobs going on, two bottles of water, and ready to go. So 
with our bikes. We're all set, good to go. We've sanitized our hands and we're gonna obviously sanitize them if we do ever pick up our food or water or anything like that. Yeah, how much are they? Four pounds? Four pounds and it's a Two pound like rental. I think it's two pound rental, first 30 minutes are free and then it's like 50p or a pound. An this is pretty hour. affordable. Really it's really good and obviously you aren't using your like, emissions in a car in central, so right? So we've made it to Regent's Park. This is probably one of my most favorite parks in London and this is possibly the most strange experience ever because we haven't really been able to actually sit in a park for the best part of about two months and we are, there's no one around us and we have left a gap as much as we physically can do. So we've just set up camp. We've got some hummus going on, the tomatoes, like I said, the thins, we've got some crisps, just popped open a beer and these are our cookies for afterwards. It's all very lovely. Okay, so we are just finishing up with our little picnic. We've just packed everything away. That pasta salad was absolutely delicious and we had some of those little cookies that I made yesterday. It's so good. Um, we both quite need the toilet now, so we're going to cycle back home because obviously no park toilets are open, so that's what we're doing. And then, um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it home. Are you joking, mate? No, like, I am so desperate. I will let you know if we do make it home without Zara and to make a wee stop um, and then we're going to get some groceries because tomorrow we're going to have a barbecue and then we're making a curry this evening as well so I'll vlog more when we're home if we make it home without Zara having a leak. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of, well, a sneak peek, a little vision of Regent's Park. It's lovely. There's quite a few people out but it's nice to save on social distancing. Just going to hop back on the bikes now. Okay, so we made it back from our bike ride. We survived! Woo! We did it. It was actually really nice. Not too busy in central London, obviously, which is really nice. And um, Zara is now considering maybe cycling to work here on it, aren't you? Um, yes, I am. I would need a bike for that. It's very true. And need to make sure it's not too busy in the mornings. But we enjoyed it. It was really nice. And obviously still, I keep on raving about practicing social distancing. Anyway, it's the start of our Indian night. So we're going to be making the curry from scratch. We're going to be doing a red lentil dal with chickpeas. It's going to be delicious. And then we're also going to be making our homemade naan breads and onion bhajis. So we're doing everything from scratch. It's going to be delicious. We're going to have some Indian beer. I'm very excited. So we need to get cracking with the naan breads because it's actually quarter past six. So we need to get a wiggle on. And the naan breads need time to rise. So when they're rising, we can actually get cracking with the curry. So this is everything you're going to need. Okay, so we've got seven grams of yeast, two teaspoons of golden caster sugar, 300 grams of strong white bread flour, half a teaspoon of bacon powder and half a teaspoon of salt. We've got 25 grams of butter and a little bit extra for um, grease in the bowl. And then we need 125, sorry, 150 ml of natural yogurt. So the first thing we need to do, this is a BBC Good Food Recipe as well, I will link this down below. First thing we need to do is measure out some warm water, put the actual yeast in and a teaspoon of the sugar and leave that to ferment for like 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so in the bowl, we've just got some strong white bread flour and I've put the um, rest of the sugar in there with the bacon powder and salt and then we just need to give it a little mix with the door hook. We're making some coriander naan, so I've put some coriander leaf in there as well, so it's all nice and mixed in. Now we are starting on the curry, like I said, we're gonna be doing a dal, so it's a red lentil dal. We're customizing it slightly because we were gonna bulk it out with chickpeas and we're using sweet potato instead of squash because I couldn't find the squash at the food shop. But this is everything that's going on. So we are just softening a white onion down in a little bit of sunflower oil and I'm gonna season that and then add the spices. Spices are coriander leaf, cayenne pepper, turmeric and cumin. I've made this dal before, um, I'll link the vlog it's in and I'll link the BBC Good Food recipe down below as well. You're also gonna need four cloves of garlic, some vegetable stock cubes, I'm using two. We've got a can of chickpeas and a can of chopped tomatoes. Like I said, we're gonna be using a sweet potato because I couldn't find a squash. And then the red lentils, which is 300 grams, so this is a 600 gram bag, so we just need the rest of the lentils. Progress on the naan breads. Zara's just made a well here. I melted some butter, and then this is the yeast mixture, and it's bubbled up nicely, so that'll be perfect to add in here with the butter and yogurt and stir it all together. I think it needs to knead for 10 minutes, and then we cover the bowl up and let it double in size. Sweet potato, sweet potato. Potato that is sweet. So we 
just added the spices in and we've just softened the onions right down. I'm going to add a little pinch of sea salt. So we're going to do salt in there. And then Zara's just going to crush in the garlic. I add the garlic in at this stage just so it doesn't burn. Uh, fab. And then we can now add our red lentils and our tomatoes. Okay, so I've just added the chopped tomatoes and we had a can of coconut milk. So I'm going to add, I did just open that. So I'm going to add that in too. Okay, so then we're just going to give that a stir. We just need to bring this to the boil, so we're going to crank up the heat, and then we're going to add the red lentils. Okay, so I've just added all of the liquid ingredients into the dough now, and then I'm just going to turn this on and knead it for about 10 minutes, the recipe says. So if it's a little bit too wet, you can add a little bit of flour, and if it's a bit too dry, you're going to add a little bit of warm water. But this just needs to knead. And I've got the door hook on. You can do this by hand, of course, we just have this, so we like to use it. So now I'm going to add in the 300 grams of lentils. The sweet potato has had about 10 minutes just to blip away to simmer and then we just need to stir these in. Do be careful when you add your lentils because they have a tendency to sink to the bottom. So make sure you stir this quite regularly otherwise they will burn. Uh, so you just need to cook for around 20 minutes on a really low heat and then it's ready to eat. Okay, so progress. I'm just about to start the onion barge. So Zara's just sliced up some white onions and we popped it in a bowl with some cold water just to keep them nice and crispy. And then in here I have some flour, gluten-free flour, just apparently that helps crisp up with some bacon powder, chili, turmeric and salt. And then I have 100 uh, ml of cold water that I need to add into here. Stir this together with the whisk that Zara is using to make the raita, which is just natural yogurt and cucumber and mint. Right, okay, so now I'm going to add this plain flour and um, water mixture into the onion bhajis. Just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Probably should have done this in a bigger bowl actually, in hindsight. Might have to transfer it, we'll see. But it just needs to core all of the onions ready for frying. So the dal is on the whole the hob. The dal is on the hob. The dal is on the hob and it is perfectly cooked. This is our onion barges, it's all stirred through, this is ready to deep fry. And we are now gonna have a cobra beer because I always have this when I go to an Indian restaurant. So that's what we're I gonna have. I actually have a coke. Do you? Yeah. I do like coke. So something fizzy, I think it neutralizes the curry, I don't know what it is, but anyway, that's a terrible beer pour but that's fine. Right. Cheers. You're welcome. Mike Thank Mom. you. Right, we're going to go into the living room and just let the door prove, and then we're going to watch a film. What film do you want to watch? I don't know, something good, something funny. I'd like something like, oh. Oh, it's a good beer. Mm -hmm. The door has had about an hour to prove, and it's doubled in size. So what I'm going to do is just scrape it back from the sides, and then I'm going to cut it into six equal parts, and then transfer it onto a baking tray, and then we just need to fry them. And then I'm going to freeze in the parts, because obviously it's only me and Zara, so I'm going to freeze the rest of the door, and then we can have naan breads at our disposal. Okay, so we're gonna pop those onto the frying pan now. So I'm just gonna take off the flour. And then we're just gonna pop it on there. And that looks like a willy. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, we're going in for the flip. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that looks amazing. I'm so proud. We also did some onion barges in the meantime. We've just had some vegetable oil heating and then I popped them in. So this, this obviously is gonna make a lot of onion barges. So I think I'm gonna do two for each of us and then the rest we can pop in the fridge and maybe have it midweek with a curry. I've just transferred it to a little ramekin and like compact it in. Otherwise I just didn't wanna like burn my hands. But I think they're doing great. I've just got some kitchen roll and like a colander over there just to drain them off when they're done. We've just cooked the barges. It's had about four minutes in total on both sides. So I'm just gonna transfer it over to here. And then I'm just gonna pop that into the oven just to keep it nice and warm. And then we've got two more flatbreads on the go and then we're done. Amazing. Okay, so this is our sweet potato and chickpea dal. I just finished it off with some fresh coriander. We've got a beer going on. 
These are the onion barges, which look absolutely incredible. These are the Zara, the Zara Narns. Zara! <laughs> Zara Narns, which look amazing too. We've got some poppadoms, we've got some mango chutney, and then just behind is a little bit of coconut raita. Oh my god, this is beautiful. like the best Indian ever. I'm so excited. Let's dig in. I'll let you know what we think. That's so much nicer than the Darwin. It's it's delicious. Cold. Coconut milk. Guys, this is good. This is a good dal. Honestly, try that recipe that I've linked down below. Put coconut milk in it. Oh, mmm. Look at those. Oh my god. Well done, us. I'm gonna pop two bits on there for you. Guys, I'm not just saying that that is good. Mm-hmm. We've made homemade naan bread. Now we have to go in for the onion barges. These are the barges we're dealing with. They're ginormous and they look amazing. Let's go in for the taste test. Right, three, two, one. Oh, Tell me they're not nice. Oh my word. I'm converted. Guys, they Maybe are delicious. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here again. Sorry, it's been a short one. The curry was an absolute roaring success. It was delicious. I look so. Why are you trying to tickle me? Stop it. I look so tired. I literally feel like that bike ride has worn us out. We're gonna sleep ridiculously well tonight. How far do you reckon we cycled? Have you tried to work this out? Not far. Really? No. Far like far. Maybe a couple of kilometers. So if you have enjoyed this vlog, as always, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. There's going to be plenty more vlogs coming very soon. Zara's got my hat on. And um, I will link all of the recipes down below like usual. <laughs> I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.